Hi, and welcome to HomeKit Authority. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to set up HomeKit Adaptive Lighting in the Nanoleaf Essentials range. I've recently done a review of both the light strip and the smart bulbs. The links are in the description below if you want to check them out. And also if you don't have any of these, again, links are in the description below, they'll take you to Nanoleaf's website. Also, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. And also don't forget to follow us on our social media channels at Follow HomeKit for more HomeKit news reviews and tutorials. Now, in order to get started, there's a couple of things you need. First of all, you need one of the Nanoleaf Essentials products, such as the smart lights or the smart strip. Again, the links are in the description below if you've not already got them. You also need a iOS device running iOS 14 or above, along with a HomeKit hub, such as an Apple TV, HomePod or iPad. And again, this needs to be running firmware 14. And finally, you also need the latest version of the Nanoleaf app. So let's start by updating the firmware. So to get started, you open up the Nanoleaf app and then navigate to the settings menu, which is indicated by the three dots then click firmware update. This will then present you with the relevant devices that are ready to be updated. All you do then is click update and it will go through the relevant motions. Now it does take two to three minutes. So just bear that in mind. And also the light strip or the light may turn off and on. Don't worry about that. That's just simply part of the process. And once it's done, it's then updated and everything is good to go within the app. Now moving on to the OMAP and enabling HomeKit Adaptive Lighting. You open the OMAP and then press down on the tile for the relevant device. You then have this symbol, which is a sun, and this is the OMKit Adaptive Lighting toggle that turns it on and off. You simply press that and it's enabled. HomeKit Adaptive Lighting will then just work in the mornings a bit warmer colors. Throughout the day, it'll be cooler colors. And then in the evening, it will move to more warmer colors, removing the blues to let you relax. Now, just one tip, if HomeKit Adaptive Lighting is not available within the OMAP for whatever reason, simply unplug all your HomeKit hubs in your home and then plug them back in again. This will restart them and hopefully kickstart that feature to be enabled. So that's it. HomeKit Adaptive Lighting on the Nanoleaf Essential range should now be updated and all working. So if you've liked this video, don't forget to share it and also like it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. Also check out our other videos on our channel. And finally, thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.